एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रिया रिया रंजन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो दोज हुर वाचिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम हाय आई एम अ क्लाउड एंड डेवलप्स इंजीनियर आई मेक वीडियोस अराउंड करियर लाइफस्टाइल ट्रैवल कुकिंग यू कैन विजिट माय चैनल आई एम श्योर यू विल फाइंड इट यूजफुल नाउ कमिंग बैक टू टूडेज टॉपिक आई हैव बीन गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस इन वीजा so i thought why not make a video so that it will be helpful for you as well in this video i will be sharing how was my interview experience how many rounds were there and how was the overall process so please don't skip this video and keep watching if you don't know i'm working in visa as a senior systems engineer from last 2 years so this entire video is purely based on my experience that i had when i gave my interview before starting this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do consider subscribing and now let's start in march 2023 i was looking for some openings on linkedin as i was planning to switch and at that time i came around this opening in visa but i don't know why i never applied the very next day i got a message from my senior asking if i'm interested in visa so obviously i said yes then i quickly updated my resume and i added everything that i was doing at that time in my company which reminds me if you want to update your resume and make it your strong game i'll attach a link here at the i button you can check it out moving on i created my resume and send it to him so all of this happened on 23rd of march 2023 after 2 weeks i got a call from the hr and she was asking me about my experience my notice period what is my current salary how much am i expecting my availability for the interviews everything she was asking then my first interview got scheduled on 11th of april 2023 at around 11 11:30 am in the morning it was a technical interview with a lead based here in bangalore it started with a basic introduction my experience that i had in my previous organization at that time current organization then on which projects i have worked on he started asking me basic aws questions at first then based on my answers he was asking me troubleshooting questions most of the troubleshooting questions were on ec2 then patching then he asked me questions based on my resume whatever i had mentioned on my resume may he asked me that i had mentioned the terraform certification on my resume so he started asking me questions on terraform then some scenario based questions what if we will do this then what will happen if this thing happened then how we can resolve this something like that then he started asking me questions based on docker kubernetes ansible basic questions and while i was answering he was increasing the level of the questions then comes the questions based on my previous company's experience what were the challenges that i faced in my organization any project on which i worked single handedly then he asked me if i had any question at that time all of this happened for around 1 hour this was my first round after one week i got a call from hr again and then she said i cleared first round now they will be moving ahead with the second round so she was asking my availability second round happened on 17th of april 2023 at around 5 5:30 pm in the evening it was a panel round there were two members so they were based out of uk and us so that's why it happened in the evening it was also a technical round but it was very lengthy so it almost went for 1.5 hours they both had different expertise they were working on different different domains so one by one they asked me questions it started with the basic introduction then they asked me questions based on few scenarios definitions explanations all basic when i answered they increased the level of the difficulty of the questions that they were asking then they asked me any one technology on which i am comfortable and then they asked questions on that technology so after asking basic and intermediate questions on aws docker terraform they asked me to share my screen and they gave me a piece of the code where i have to add few lines as per their requirement once that was done one interviewer shared his screen and then he showed me a piece of code again where i had to find few errors that was a debugging question then he asked me about basic aws services on which i had worked on at that time he asked me a bit of troubleshooting questions around those services in short there were lot of troubleshooting and scenario based questions in that round honestly i was lagging in one or two questions but they were easily accepting the fact that i was still a junior at that time and i was constantly showing them that i am very eager and ready to learn i am just looking for a right opportunity so they were very understanding in these aspects this was a bit of a long round if we compare to the first round so it went for around 1 hour 15 minutes to 20 minutes around those lines 
and after that i was waiting and waiting for almost a week then i sent a follow up mail to the hr asking for an update i got a response on the same day stating they are still reviewing my process and it will take around one or two days for them to review and update me honestly i thought i missed it and i'm not going to make it but after one week i got a mail from the hr stating they are moving ahead with my process and they are considering me for the final round which is the managerial round initially i thought it will be a managerial round not a technical round but honestly it was 90% technical and 10% managerial round so managerial round happened on i think 27th or 28th of april i don't remember clearly this round also happened in the evening because she is also based out of us she also started with very basic introduction my current experience on which project i was working on at that time any challenges that i faced why i want to switch then she took the next step and asked me few intermediate level questions on aws and terraform it was mostly troubleshooting questions on aws and she was asking questions based on my answers then a lot of cross questioning happened so once i completed my answer she was explaining me the exact same answer but with a different viewpoint and approach i hope you are getting what i am saying then she asked me few questions based on linux linux command and networking then towards the end of the interview she asked me two three managerial questions as well like questions based on team work and the moment when i guided my juniors so it was a 45 50 minute round then after this interview i waited for around a week and then i got a call from the hr that they are moving ahead with my process and i got selected for this opening and she asked me to mail my documents my pay slip my notice period my current salary expected salary all those things then after two days she called me for salary negotiation and it was a phone call round once that was finalized she took all the approvals from the manager and on the same day she released my offer letter at that time my notice period was 90 days but they agreed for that the overall process was very slow and it took around 1.5 months but whoever was involved in the process the hr all the three interviewers the manager they all were very polite and supportive then finally i resigned from my previous company on 19th of may 2023 and after 3 months i joined visa on 22nd of august 2023 i was and still am very grateful for the overall journey how it went whatever happened happened for the right reason so one thing to put it out there i got a referral and i had three official rounds and one you can say unofficial so there were two technical rounds one was managerial but it was almost technical and then one was hr round that was the salary negotiation round but if you are applying by yourself then you have to give one assessment before so based on that assessment they will finalize whether they are going to move ahead with the interviews or not and then later you have to give two or three interviews purely depends on the team for my team i had four rounds but for maybe some other team they will have one assessment and then three rounds or two rounds so that depends and that varies i hope you have watched it completely and got an idea about the overall interview process If you still have any query please do let me know in the comment section I'll try to reply you as fast as possible If you're also planning your career in cloud or devops I have created an entire roadmap for you guys you can check it out I will link that in the description box or you can check the channel you will find it very helpful Now having said that if you like this video please do like share comment don't forget to subscribe please share this video with your friends who are also looking for a journey in devops or cloud and I'll see you super soon in my next video bye bye